Today, we're making the world's greatest breakfast side dish. Soft on the inside, crunchy on the outside, hash brown. Shredded potatoes seasoned and cooked to perfection. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you, these will rival any diner or truck stop across the land. <laughs> Man, you ain't a kid. And I said no. You should be a son of a truck driver, that's for sure. So I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My son of a truck driver, Lou. <laughs> I handed that right to you. You did. You That was a softball that you gave me. So we're making hash browns. These are the best hash these browns so in the these, world. They're, they're not frozen. They're, we're using real potatoes. Real potatoes. And they're easy to make. So we got a few tricks that we're going to show you that we've learned along the way that make them so delicious. First, let's talk potatoes. So what, what we... Those what are I, some big potatoes. These are some big potatoes. They're going to make a nice helping of a hash brown. So I use a technique uh, called parboiling, which some people are like, you're crazy. Why are you doing that? Because it it works. It works <laughs> for us. So you want, if sometimes if you don't do this, they get really kind of I want to do this for oh, you. Green. They, they get kind of, they don't get a nice color. They don't get a nice crisp. They don't cook well enough. Um, so all we do, this is all, it's super simple. I get a kind of nice large pot and I put my potatoes, in this case we're using four, and then I just fill those potatoes, that fill that pot up with enough water to cover it. And then I'm going to bring that water to a boil. As soon as that water comes to a boil, I'm turning off the heat and then I'm going <laughs> to let those potatoes sit in that hot water for just, just 10 minutes, not longer. Because no. if you let them cook too long then they're gonna get mushy and we don't want mushy uh, hash browns and then that is so cool so then we're right now the what the loon is helping I'm me peeling it. he is peeling I can finish Here, that you off. finish that I'll finish off. Off. but the, what the really cool thing about this is that you can do this just like up to two days in advance just don't peel until you're ready to start making hash browns okay I love it take over Looney. I love it oh you guys all right so I've got a um, food processor here, but you could use a, a hand grater, a or box, a grater. box grater if you want to, but whew, that's a lot of elbow grease, but this, this is so quick and so easy. And I've got the, the, um, medium shredder attachment on here. It really is. A, it makes it a breeze. <laughs> it, it does. And let's see if I can actually make this. It's work. fun watching balloon do a power <laughs> tool too. And I'm just going to stick this in here. Oh, Chris, that's, I got to stuff that one. Stuff them. <laughs> you right. can do it. And then I'm just going to pull. Push it on down through. There you go. Oh, there we go. And there'll always be a little Lord. chunk, a little bit at the top that's gonna not quite. You can save that for something else. Oh, that's a big chunk, but if that's you need, okay. Yeah, or we'll we'll we'll, we'll, save uh, it. we'll save it. We'll do some more. Here, I'm gonna cut it in half and just put it on in there. Perfect. And if you need to cut, if these are too big, if you want to cut them in half, that one fits. That one then fits. you can absolutely split them in half. Okay. While he's doing that, we're gonna fry these up. In some <laughs> grease. This yeah. is this is my favorite contraption. I've had it forever. I w w my grandma had one, and my grandma's grandma I'm sure had one. Anyway, this is bacon grease. That is full of bacon it's grease. It's full of bacon <laughs> grease. We've been cooking a lot of bacon. I got to tell you, we're right in the thick. Well, we're kind of becoming at the end of tomato season, <laughs> and I had a great bumper crop of tomatoes. And our favorite thing to eat is you can go ahead and do. Oh, it, okay. Is, um, <laughs> BLTs. So we've been eating a lot of bacon. I've got a lot of bacon grease. The bacon grease is loaded. With flavor it's actually it's better for cooking with oil than some of the oils out there um, like lard is is a good uh, oil to cook with a good grease to cook with but anyway I'm digressing so we're, <laughs> I've got a I'm gonna cook put heat this up over medium. look at those heat. you guys those are perfect that's beautiful that is gorgeous all right I'm gonna do these last two as well oh, right. So, oh, here comes Flo. She thinks yeah, she, she thinks there's some meat down here. She, I'm usually sh I usually <laughs> shred cheese in this, and oh. sh they hear that. Yeah, you kind of need yeah, that. I should have that. Now I'm going to go ahead and help him along here. We've got a half a cup of finely chopped onion. Perfect. Don't worry, it's not. I mean, for all of you non-onion eaters, all it does is it, it just like it melts into the potatoes. It's not overly onion taste at all. If you love extra onion, then do a whole onion. <laughs> now I'm going to put a teaspoon of teaspoon of kosher salt, half a teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. If you just absolutely despise even the remotest hint of taste of uh, of onion, then leave it out. No, I, put that it's onion good. in it's there. It's good. It just it, it enhances the flavor and it gives it that classic classic flavor. Come Thanks. on, we're going through. Oh wow! You, oh, I know what. I, I think Flo thinks this it's is cheese. cheese. I just was saying I'm like, that. Oh, you did say that. Yeah, well, yes. I, was too, I was too busy I know, working. you were busy shredding. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, there we go. Oh, I see, okay. Yes. Okay, 
All right, I've got all my potatoes cut. Hi, kids. I know it's not it's not cheese. It's potatoes. <laughs> They're like, we'll take that too. <laughs> okay, brilliant. Look at that. Okay, nice. Let me get this out of your way. Okay. This is so awesome. I. I don't think I know anyone who doesn't like hash browns. Did you They're put the salt and pepper in I here? did. I, I, All right, y'all, I'm going to use my fingers and the best tools ever. That's right. And I'm going right. to get this really thoroughly mixed yeah. together. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So, what? It's quite the texture. It is. It is. <laughs> now, see, that's, that really is, if, it's, if you overcook them, then they get a little gummy and they get, they just... They'll still be okay, but you want... No, these not are gonna, perfect. That, if you cook them too much, they get a little uh, mushy, right? You said gummy. <laughs> mushy. Mushy, gummy, whatever you choose to, have to describe it. Okay, yes, is that looking I'm getting good? The, I'm getting that... Getting all, right. all that so uh, I'm onion back, mixed up in there. Yeah. I have got my skillet here set to medium, um, medium hot. And I think that's I good. I think it's good. Yes. Yes, you did a good right, job. Hold on, okay. I gotta get that in there. Okay. So now Ready? let's just transfer those right into this skillet. All right, I'm just gonna take this bowl yep. and dump them in there. Yep. Oh, I'm slippery, Chris. Okay, that's all right. Here we go. I'll help. Oh, wow, you did dump. You okay. <laughs> you weren't kidding when you said dump. Okay, so now just, <laughs> boy. Um, so slip it right in. Slip her in. So uh, now I'm just gonna use my little spatula here just to press these down. Those look great, Wesley. And um, <laughs> Abby, that's not cheese. <laughs> yeah, but it looks like cheese, it looks like shredded cheese. So now, depending on the uh, heat of your skillet, this is gonna take about, I'm compacting this down like this. It's gonna take about 15 to 20 oh. minutes per side, and then we're gonna quarter this and flip it. It is, um, you guys, I, I grew up in a truck stop basically, and these, like I said, rival, and they're amazing because they're crispy on the out. That just brings back memories. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next time we see you, we're gonna be flipping. <laughs> oh, they're smelling so wow. good. Okay, now Yay. I said next time we saw you, it's gonna be flipping time. And oh, those are doing great. They are. So this has been going for about 15 minutes. They're hash brown, so it, it they do not have to be like cut perfectly. I'm just splitting. There you go. I'm cutting these into quarters. Um, makes it easier to flip. If you were, if I was really skilled at flipping, I could. <laughs> you could just flip, like Yeah, this. do the whole thing. And I've tried that before. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> the so, dogs love it. When they do. You do they, it. They, they're <laughs> my, their favorite activity of mine. Okay. So now I'm going to put just a little more of this bacon grease in here, just to kind of keep things happy. So when we flip, um, you can keep that. Big grease come. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> it's the good stuff. Um, okay, all right, here we go. It's gonna be Got fun. It. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one right here. Get it on there, quick. All right, and flip. Come on, it's come. It's it's all right. There we go. Okay, it's all gonna go the same place. I know, I know. and it doesn't have to be beautiful. I'm I was so nervous. Look there at that. you go. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, that looks great. I get so nervous. I know you get more. I want to do one. Okay. Right. He, he just can't help. Watch himself. it. All right, go ahead. Hold on. Okay. He loves to go. flip these babies. In three, yeah. two. Oh, Chris. Oh, wow. Okay, that wasn't good. Okay, you do the flipping now. <laughs> <laughs> but it does, the, seriously, folks, it does not matter um, because it's gonna. If they all just sort of form back together and they make they make hash browns. They're meant to be. Those look awesome. They really do. And uh, all right, let's see what happens. Oh, okay. there we go. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Good um, thing this isn't a contest. What do you mean? You would have won. Oh, <laughs> well, it's always a contest. <laughs> oh, that was there perfect. We go. See? Okay, so now I'm just gonna press these back like this. Oh, they're looking so oh, good. Oh, I can't and wait. We'll probably flip them one more time just to get all of these nice and crispy. That, like I said, that went for 15 minutes. We'll probably let these go for about another 15 minutes. Maybe do one more flip, and then it's time to eat hash browns. <laughs> Okay, oh, these are beautiful. So these went, uh, we let them go another 15 minutes on medium, medium, high, and then the loon was feeling really, really confident. They, I will tell you, once they continue to cook, they get a little firmer and they're easy <laughs> yeah. to flip. He, he insisted on redeeming himself. I and did. He flipped each one and he did perfectly. So now I'm just gonna bring this on there, over to you. Yeah, bring it on over. Ooh, that looks, <gasps> it oh. looks really good. 
It, it seems a little lonely. It needs a little some eggs and bacon. Oh, right it, it's all right. But that's okay. <gasps> These are exact. Oh, I'm so excited. I know. I know. Here, let's get this over here. Oh. I always say that these don't, they don't exactly resemble like what you get at some of these fast food or the, the chain breakfast restaurants, but that's because those a lot of times are frozen. I this is like what you're gonna get at a truck stop. I store. love this. Look at that, cr the crispy yeah. on the outside, soft on the inside. Yeah. Oh, Chris, I'm just showing everybody how wonderful these look. And the, a little fell on the side of it, and I grabbed it, and it was delicious, but I don't know. Oh, he had, <laughs> what he just said was a little fell on the side, and he took a bite. I haven't right. had a sample yet. I'm going to just stick this in my ketchup, because I like I ketchup. like a little ketchup, too. <gasps> mm. It reminds me oh. of what kind of hash runs. You know when you go to like a really cool, brunch spot mm -hmm. when you get those really awesome brunch yes. and they always have this Look on the that. side or yeah. breakfast potatoes they're just you can tell they're homemade look at that just lovely brown crunch oh okay i've got to eat some more of this these are perfect these are exactly oh. he's a he he is a tough critic of hash browns because he grew up on them and these do these cut cut the cut the, <laughs> i want to keep eating them <laughs> but they're one hundred thousand percent lunar proof I'm sorry, I had to get it out so I can start eating these. I know, I had a mouthful of hash browns. That is- I gotta put a lot of ketchup. For him to say that, you you see how you can do that? It's not difficult. It's, it's the bacon fat. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's also the preparation, you know, the, doing the yes. parboiling really helps. If you don't parboil, you wanna make sure you squeeze mm. those shredded, uh, that shredded potatoes, because the water is not your friend in this. Oh, wow. I know, it's so good, you guys. We hope you make these hash browns. There's something to celebrate. We celebrate you, and we love you so much. I love much. you. I'm going to eat my hash browns. <laughs> hash browns for everybody. Yeah.